previously on this overland adventure. My wife Regina, my good friend Josh and I set out from San Diego, California and traveled up the Eastern Sierra Nevada mountain range, made our way to Oregon, and have spent the last three days here in Washington with our good buddy Nate exploring the Olympic Peninsula, finding some epic campsites and cooking up some good chow. In this next part of our adventure, it's time to hit the dirt and put in a lot of miles in eastern Washington in search of some new places, putting our vehicles through their paces, trying to find a campsite out of the intense wind, and all while trying to be sure to stop and soak it all in. Stay tuned. Today we are here in eastern Washington, just outside a town of Ellensburg, and we're going to do a section of the BDR, the Backcountry Discovery Route, and it's going to take us about 120 miles over the next two days. We're going to explore some great trails, find some awesome campsites, maybe see some cool scenery, and just have a lot of fun out here. Today, this whole next two days, it's going to be a blast. All right, we just finished airing down, and let me introduce you to the vehicles we got here. So we've got Matt's awesome Liberty. This thing's two inches lift, it's 31s. Used to be his brother Nate. You guys know Nate from Dirt Lifestyle. And Nate, Nate is rocking the Tacoma. Still on stock tires and stock suspension, but a couple other cool mods. But what I really think is cool, he's got this Mammoth Overland trailer back here. This thing kind of looks like it should be on the back of a Cybertruck. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Josh has got his diesel, you can hear the diesel running, the Gladiator, and he's got the Alucab on the back, and then we've got the big Ram Power Wagon. My wife and I have been on the road for the last six days, living out of the back of the four-wheel camper, and it's been awesome. All right, it's super windy out here, guys, but we're going to be heading down the trail that way. Today, on the first section of this trail, we'll be traveling southwest, starting at an elevation of just over 1,500 feet and winding our way through the mountains and eventually ending up in the pine trees at just over 5,100 feet. Now this is technically section two of the Washington Backcountry Discovery Route, and it's been on my bucket list to start exploring some of these trails for a while. And I think this might just be the start of more BDR trails to explore in my future soon. Both my wife and I are full of anticipation about where we are going to be taken today. Nate had done an amazing job guiding us through the Olympic Peninsula for the last three days. But today and tomorrow, his brother Matt was taking trail lead. Matt was instrumental in planning this leg of our trip. The GPX files for this section of the backcountry discovery route are easy to find online, but Matt did a lot of homework in planning our time distance for each day and looking for possible campsites along the way, which for a group of the size of this sometimes can be a bit challenging. So while Matt didn't know exactly where we'd end up each evening, he had a few spots in mind. Matt is driving a Jeep Liberty diesel, which isn't a vehicle you see out on the trails very often. But this rig right here is light, nimble, and very capable. But he was seeing some engine temperature increases while climbing some of these grades. So to be safe, we pulled over for a bit to let it cool down, but after a short stop and back on the flats, he was good to go. This area is such a contrast from the rainforest we were in just a day ago, and while it is a little barren, if you look close, there is beauty all around. And the visibility atop each of these mountains we climbed brought majestic mountain ranges into view, and we could start to see Mount Rainier off in the distance. These views will only be getting better and better as we continue along, and soon enough we'll find ourselves back in the deep green forest. But first, we gotta lay down some miles, so after a quick lunch stop, we were off again.
All right, guys, we're getting ready to turn off the asphalt back on to the dirt, and we're here at a gate that is closed, and there's a sign here that says there's a new entrance because the bridge burned up during a fire. So we're gonna have to kind of reroute our original plans, but it's all right. At least they're letting us know we need to go somewhere else. So after a short detour down the road, we located another gate that would connect us back to the trail we were trying to get to so we could stay on our original route. There was evidence of a recent fire in this area, and seeing this is always a great reminder to be responsible out here. I preach pack it in and pack out all the time with your trash, but making sure you heed the fire restrictions and you fully extinguish your campfires is equally as important. Typically after a fire like this, trails can be closed for a year or two just to prevent erosion. And I think we'd all like them to stay open year round. So please put out those fires. After climbing a few thousand feet up the mountain, the forest finally came alive again. And we were not too far now from our first of two campsites we'd be staying at tonight. But I'll explain more on that shortly. Well, everyone, it is uh, just a little bit after five o'clock and we have finally reached a camp spot. And uh, this is pretty epic when it comes to camp spots. I'm gonna do a little exploring and a little hunting and Josh decided to take a detour and he found this camp spot right here with this amazing, amazing view. Now it might be a little windy up here, but there's plenty of room for lots of vehicles. Yeah. This will work. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. What's going on? Oh, uh, just cooking a little chicken. What are you making? Doing some chicken and pasta with uh, lemon caper sauce. All right, that sounds good. It already smells good. Yeah, but yeah. What, how about what's going on behind you right now? Oh, behind me? I can't even look or I get distracted and I'll burn <laughs> our dinner. That's just all there is to it. But it's amazing. This yeah. is an incredible view. I can't, right. Every every trip we go on, it's like Colorado, then Utah, now Washington. Yeah. It's just amazing. It just gets better and better. It, every time. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thanks for making it easy. Anytime. How's your day on the trail? Yeah? Yeah. What did you like most? Getting here. <laughs> <laughs> the view's pretty good, huh? Oh, the view's amazing. I, you got Mount Rainier and another majestic mountain that I have no Adam. idea what it's called. Adams. Adams. It's Mount Adams. Adams. Okay. Yeah. We're literally on top of the world right now. Yeah. And uh, there's some pretty good smells going on over here. Too. Oh, amazing. Mr. Nate? Yo! What are you cooking up over here? I'm gonna cook up a couple of steaks and contribute them to dinner. Yeah? How you liking uh, how you liking trailer life? You know, it's a mixed bag. Right now I love trailer life when you show up. <laughs> but when you're climbing some of those grades and stuff, you notice it back there for yeah. sure. But it's not that bad. Not I mean that bad. we didn't get stuck or anything. No. But it was Just a good trail today, wasn't it? Killer trail. Yeah. A lot of fun. And to be honest with you, I, I should be looking at glasses half full. It was an extra challenge with the trailer making it to where it was a much more engaging drive. Right. So the, it, it was awesome and I, I do really enjoy using a trailer, there's no doubt about it. Right, and uh, I, I gotta hand it to you, buddy. We have not been to any campsites that you have ever been to before, and this is now three in a row on this trip. Pretty amazing, dude. We have been so lucky, and it's just been insane how fortunate we've been. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad, because you came all this way, and I wanted to make sure that uh, we were able to find some killer spots, and I couldn't have imagined something this good. Yeah. This is amazing. It's awesome. Any hints on where we're going tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I can give you a hint. We're gonna go farther south. <laughs> That's helpful. <laughs> Mark, you 
Marco, I know you're going to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> we all love you, and I was looking forward to your cooking, but Josh is doing very well in your absence. This is outstanding. <laughs> yes. <laughs> very good. You got a Marco company. I did. <laughs> <laughs> love you, Marco. You need to grow your beard a little bit more. So while we were having a great meal and unwinding at camp and really falling in love with this spot and the views, Mother Nature was having a bit of a temper tantrum and the winds were beginning to pick up. And I don't mean just a little, it started to really pick up. And if we decide to stay here for the night, there won't be much hanging out around camp and sleeping tonight might be a little difficult. So we had to come up with a plan B for the evening. You're level there. Okay, so that campsite was beautiful. The scenery was amazing, but the wind started coming in like crazy. It's at least 40 mile an hour winds up there, and there's no hanging around camp at night when there's that kind of wind. And so we made a command decision and we walked around a little bit to kind of scope out some other sites. And we found this site, we are less than a quarter mile from where we were. And there, you can see the wind howling above us, but right here it is beautiful. And what's really nice is this is a little grassier and it's a little not so rocky as the other spot. So there's plenty of level areas. So we may not have an epic view, but we still have a really beautiful campsite today. Moving to this second campsite was without question the right call. We had a very relaxing evening. Well, good morning. We are having a nice, easy start to our day. We are in no rush this morning. Eating, having some coffee. They're cooking some pancakes back there. Been walking around, soaking in all the views. Uh, this is pretty awesome. We, it, the VDR is pretty neat. If you don't know about the backcountry discovery route, it's definitely something to look into. There's a lot of uh, these trail networks all over the place, and this is just one small section of it. And to be able in, to end up at a campsite like this uh, and some of the other campsites we saw along the way, it's pretty cool. It's very cool. Now, uh, we're probably going to pack up here in a little while and continue on. And Nate says that the campsite area that we're going tonight should even top this one. So that'll be cool. Looking forward to the rest of today. Gosh, we are on day seven here. I know. How you doing, man? You I'm hanging doing in there? good. I'm doing good. It's, it's an adventure. It, yeah. You lose track of the days for sure. Really, I have to keep reminding myself what day of the week it is, what the actual date is. Uh, but it's been good, man. It has been. Yeah. I mean, I think we are getting the full uh, Pacific Northwest experience. I think so. Other than the one thing that everyone says happens all the time up here, 
That's the one thing we're not getting, but we don't want to say it. We don't, well, we got a little bit of it when we were in the rain forest. Okay, agreed. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what do you think about today? Every turn's like a different view. Yeah. It's been incredible. It's it, These routes are just amazing. Yeah. The BDR is pretty cool, man. I, th I think there's I think there's a big opportunity here to maybe explore some more of this. I think so. Yeah. Um, the maps are very well laid out. I mean, they, you spend a lot of time on the website. It gives you all the details. They're not extremely difficult. Right. Yeah. Uh, nice scenic trails for sure. I mean, this is kind of your first long adventure with this build. Yeah. I mean, we've been on some off-camber stuff with you know some shelf roads, a lot of shelf roads. Yep. You feeling stable? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, no issues. Well, the ride's pretty good sitting over here in passenger, man. Yeah, as long as you don't look out the window and see that shelf road we're on. Dude, because, you know, I hate uh, some shelf road. You, <laughs> your favorite. <laughs> All right, guys, what a beautiful day. Yeah. And we've been doing some elevation, and now we're climbing really pretty good. Pretty yeah. steep. What's going on with the Liberty? Well, it's building some heat. It's building some heat. Yeah. yeah. Do we know why? Yes. We do. <laughs> I'm why. <laughs> so this was my wife's commuter for a number of years, um, and it, it has a hard time getting warm in the winter, which destroys diesel economy. And so I pulled the mechanical fan off because it has a push fan, an electric, and it has a mechanical. And uh, through the five years that it's been off, we've never had temperature problems, no. but my wife has never done this with it either. So anyway, we put 31s on it, which taxes it a little bit more, and then we're at some temps and we're climbing. Yeah. My wife never noticed temperature go up because it was literally just a grocery getter for five years. And unless we're going uphill, it doesn't even go up. So a fan going on in the future, so It's just say? a fan. Yeah. yeah. It's the, like as soon as we get Everything's off. working. <laughs> Every engine needs a fan, and this one doesn't have one. Yeah. We. It's a huge oversight on my part. I knew it didn't have a fan. I just didn't think it was going to be a problem here. And it is. Doing a lot of driving today. Just a little bit. A little bit. How's yeah. it going in my big old truck that you <laughs> don't really like? It's all right. It's yeah? doing okay. It's yeah. Okay. Not so fast. I mean, it's not a yellow two-door Jeep. No, no, not even correctly that. But just navigate these trails pretty good for being so big. Yeah, yeah. not so bad. Even when we were off camber a little bit, it felt stable. Uh, it's a little bouncy. You're white knuckling a little bit, a little, but it goes through bit. it. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you think about the drive this morning? Oh, it was beautiful. I, just, I like trees and mountains, you know that, yeah. you know, I'll, I'll take rivers and mountains and trees over the desert any day of the week. Yeah, that view of Mount Rainier was pretty awesome. It was pretty epic. Yeah. So we're on day seven. <laughs> yeah. Officially the longest overland adventure you've ever been on. Yep. How'd you feel? Pretty good. Yeah? I mean, it's great to kind of get away from things yeah. and have some uh, forced breaks from <laughs> cellular life right. and, you know, all of our electronics when you can't get reception you can't use them and you know just yeah. sitting around a campfire is is uh, very soothing to the soul yeah well and the food's been pretty good yeah that's been uh, not so bad yeah, the pancakes I, this morning were awesome <laughs> thank you
not going to hit the tree back there. Come on back. Come back. You got four feet. It looks pretty good, though. There it is. I told you we'd be hanging tire. Dude, <laughs> that was awesome. Buddy, I, I've been on some pretty scenic trails, and this one is, I gotta say, right up there with some of the ones I've been in Colorado, Montana. It's freaking beautiful out here, dude. And this is your backyard. Yeah, I know. We're very, very fortunate. Yeah, right? we really are. And I'm riding in the Tacoma, the famous dirt lifestyle Tacoma. <laughs> How's it been performing? I know it's uh, some pros and cons. Yeah, you know, I'm not falling any more or any less in love with it. It's all the things that I was aware that I didn't like, I still don't. Yeah. Like we still continuously hit bump stops constantly. Uh, <laughs> but you're gonna fix that. I'm gonna fix that. Yeah, the plans I have for this are big and it's gonna be a completely different animal once I get all the parts to do it. Right. Um, but uh, as far as it hauling a trailer and what, this is the first time I've done anything like that. Yeah. I've hauled trailers like to the dump and whatnot, but this is the first time doing an off-road trailer with this. And it is better with a trailer than I thought it would be. Okay. It's, the fuel economy is horrible, but it rides, and it, it's a little underpowered on the highway. It was struggling really hard to find a gear and stuff on I-90, but off-road, it is much better than I thought it was gonna be, honestly. Yeah. And uh, the control that I have over the transmission, I just kind of keep it in the gears that I want, and okay. I have plenty of control, so. Yeah, it's it's not not terrible. So you're working you're working it like a manual. I'm working it like a manual in order to make sure that the transmission's doing what I want it to. Right on. Yeah. This trip wheeling in Washington really has been everything I expected it to be. But I actually thought I'd be threading this big truck through a lot more tight sections like this. But all in all, it hasn't been that bad. Even with my wife doing a chunk of the driving, navigating this beast, as big of a rig as it is, has been an easy day. I'm very impressed with this truck so far. Now, we have been looking at several campsites along this ridge line, but because we have to begin our two-day trip home tomorrow, we decided to get off the mountain and look for a camp spot that would allow us to get an early start on the road tomorrow. I did put the camera away for the rest of the night, but I'll check back with you all in the morning, and then we'll hear from Regina about how her first long overland adventure went. Can you believe it's been eight days already? No. no. It's kind of flown by. It's gone by pretty quick. Uh, but it's been awesome. Yeah, no, it's been fantastic. But we're not done. We still got to get home, and that's going to take us another two days. Yay. I think there's going to be a lot of questions about how you felt about this trip. Uh, what are two things that maybe we could do different when we do this again? Um, packing would be one. Um, I tend to be an overpacker, and I think I have a lot of things I really didn't need yeah. um, and food wise as well we we packed for all 10 days right. at once um, which maybe wasn't the best idea maybe planning um, a grocery store stop in between so yeah. that you know we have less food because some of it um, kind of didn't make it the whole yeah, trip we so. lost a little bit of food yeah. but we did actually hit a grocery store twice along the right, way so. and if we would have planned that right you're right we wouldn't have to pack yeah. the fridge so, you know I, and that's something that I think I need to get better at in terms of what all I need to bring. Um, okay. I get over that. okay. And what else? Um, I need to learn to relax a little bit more, to chill out and just enjoy the adventure. Yeah. I mean, I know you're really good at doing that and going with the flow, but um, I think I have a lot of residual stress from my daily work life. So um, just learning to, to just relax. Yeah. Um, I think it may take me a couple trips to figure yeah. that one out. So. Yeah pretty easy to relax in a place it like is. this. It is, and, and uh, yeah, my heart rate's definitely been down sure. quite a bit, so. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, what are two things that you just loved about this trip? Just being out here. I yeah. mean, I love being out in nature ever since I was a kid and I'd go camping with my family up in the mountains in the Sierra Nevadas. I love, love, love pine trees and rivers and mountains, and, and this was amazing. And I love Washington State. I right. mean, you know that. Yeah. It's like one of my favorite places on the planet, and the Ho Rain Forest was phenomenal. Yeah. Um, number two is um, get to spend time with you. I work so much that I feel like I hardly ever see you. So <laughs> this has been 
been really nice. So. Yeah. Well, let's hope we do a lot more of this. Yeah. yeah. You and your brother Matt did an amazing job planning this trip. My wife, uh, Josh, and I are super thankful for the invitation to come up here, man. Thank you so much. I am honored to have you. It was it was a blast, and uh, I can't wait to do it again. Uh, there is going to be an again for sure. We're doing we're getting together again. Oh, Absolutely, yeah. guys. I hope you have enjoyed hanging out with us uh, on this awesome epic adventure. If you are not following Nate at Dirt Lifestyle, head over to his YouTube channel and check it out. You guys will love the content over there. Lots of adventure content coming. Yep. Oh yeah, tons of adventure con content coming. Yeah. Finally going to start uh, using the stuff I build. There you go. <laughs> well, go check him out, guys, and uh, thanks for watching.